In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's Gospel reading says, It was reported that Jesus was at home, and many people gathered to see him. At that time, four men came to see Jesus, and they brought with them their paralyzed friend. And because of the crowd, they were not able to see Jesus. That's why they removed the roof of that house and they brought in their paralyzed friend into the house from the roof. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said, Son, your sins are forgiven. The scribes who were sitting there, they started to criticize Jesus in their hearts, saying, It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins? but God alone. Then Jesus said to them, Why are you raising such question in your hearts? Which is easier, to say your sins are forgiven or to say, stand up, take your mat and walk, but so that you may know that Son of Man has authority to forgive sins? He said, stand up, take your mat and go home. And this man immediately stood up, he took the mat and he went home. And all the people who were there, they were amazed. Here very clearly we see how Jesus performed a miracle. This teaches us that through Jesus everything is possible because he is God. Here we see that this paralyzed man was brought to Jesus by his four friends. But there are many people in this world that they don't have friends. I hope that we can become good friends to others and we can bring them to Jesus, the ultimate healer. Jesus helped this man because of the faith of his friends, which means that our faith can help someone and someone's faith can help us. Every Sunday morning, a small group of people went to church where they were not members. They stayed over there for 10 minutes and then they left. And one Sunday, the pastor of this church came to them and he said, I noticed that you come every Sunday, you stay for 10 minutes and then leave. Why aren't you staying for the entire service? He said. And one of them from this group said, actually, we are not from this church. He said, we come to your church because at the beginning of your service, you have confession. And at the end, you say your sins are forgiven. He said, we come to your church because we don't hear these words at our church. Dear faithful, Jesus will forgive us if we confess our sins to him. Jesus will help us if we turn to him and ask him for help. Amen. May God bless you all. To us, but, or me, amen, kid.